Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, this Romans chapter 1 ought to make some of you quiver in your, in your knees. Because there are too many people out there who carry the name of Christ, who advertise for Christ, who, who claim, have a claim to fame as Christian, yet they are doing everything that is diabolically opposed to the things and ways of God and his righteousness. And they are doing what this verse talks about. We're reading verse 17 through the end. They're doing what this says. Holding the truth in unrighteousness. Then we wonder as the church of the living God. Why people think of the church as a joke. Verse 17. All of this is going to be read by Pat, and then afterwards we follow with Pat's two cents, as usual. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed, from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Verse 21. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened professing themselves to be wise they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible god into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things wherefore god also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections for even their women did change the natural use unto that which is against nature verse 27 and likewise also the men leaving their excuse me leaving the natural use of the woman Thank you, but no thank you. That's Pat's two cents. Burned in their lust one towards another. Men with men. Working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. To do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, worse, excuse me, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud boasters inventors of evil things disobedient to parents hmm without understanding 
covenant breakers without natural affection, implacable, in unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Now look, I Pat's two cents. I didn't say that. Don't look at me, Kakai. The Bible said it. You can't argue what the Bible says about homosexuality, about men with men, women with women, women. You can't sit there and argue with me about wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters. See, some of y'all think because you're not out there screwing around, you're okay. But if you're in the church and you're backbiting, watch your baby cakes. Pat's two cents. Haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. What kind of stuff can you drum up next? Mm -hmm. And some of you people who are disobedient to your parents. Yeah, you little young folks that think you know it all and your parents are out of time, out of touch. God is marking your, your grade sheet on how you respect and honor and obey your parents. Yeah, telling them to F off, telling them they're stupid, slapping them, punching them, hitting them back when they hit you, talking back when they talk back to you. Dangerous turf, baby. You're shortening your days. All right. See, this is not me. This is the word. Without understanding, covenant breakers. Yeah, so for the, those of you who can't even say a word and live up to it, you, you're making promises you don't keep. You got children waiting on you to come and watch them in a play. You're going to be there, but no, you have to go on a business trip. Whoops, sorry, Charlie. And the kid just grows up getting angrier and angrier because they have a father or a mother that they cannot believe when they say anything covenant breakers all right without natural affection hmm yeah men with men men with women i mean women with women uh men with dogs women with horses whatever all right implacable unmerciful who knowing the judgment of god that they which commit such things are worthy of death Oh, not only do the same, they don't only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. You know, that is a slap in the face to sin. I mean, you, you can't get any plainer than that. You can't say that's Old Testament, baby. This is Romans under the new covenant. Pat's two cents. So when you look at these last days and you want to think everything goes and every, everybody's okay, you're okay, I'm okay, everybody's okay, and that's okay, and that's okay, and that's okay, and that's okay. No, it ain't okay. The Bible just said so. So living in these last days, what sort of person ought, you be, ought, ought you to be? What sort of lifestyle should you be? How can you badger your kids about going to church when you live like the devil himself? How can you uh, preach to your wife and nag your wife about going to church when you don't even know how to be faithful to her? You're screwing around with, with, with either Tom, Dick, and Harry yourself or you're screwing around with Mary, Sue, and Jane. You got a wife, but you rather fornicate through adultery. And then you expect her to obey God. What kind of world are we? I mean, we are creating madness here. When the Bible says that, that uh, the devil is the author of confusion, baby, this is confusion. You call right wrong you call wrong right i was watching a parade i couldn't believe my eyes
Christ. The blasphemy, the, oh my goodness, it was horrendous. You have a gay parade and these two gay men dressed in supposedly a Jesus costume. While one Jesus stands there acting like he's humping the backside of the other Jesus while the other Jesus is bent over. This, the Lord gave his life, he suffered. Now, if you don't believe in him, nothing I can say will change your mind. And I get that. But if there's any doubt in your, in the back of the, the, the basement of your head, anywhere in there, that says, you know, that just might be true. Back up off the blasphemy, baby. Back up off the lifestyle. Because the Bible said it plain as day. Plain as day. You don't even need glasses to understand that. You don't need an interpreter for that. This is King James and it said it plain as day. We would rather do wrong. We would rather commit sins and come up with all kind of crazy ways to get into sinful ways, little orgies, little, little, uh, 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 oh, crack houses. I mean, here's the thing that gets me. Some of you, you're out there in the streets. You know that K2, you know that some of these other drugs will totally wreck your brain. But you march to the beat of a different drum that says, die, baby, die, baby, die, baby, die. And you get right in the rhythms because you want to die. So you decide to go to the streets and get high. It, 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 you call it getting high? You're frying your brain? You're committing hotty cotty mentally? And you're sitting there like a zombie. You're 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 chewing your skin. You're pulling your clothes off. You 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 wouldn't know your name if it was a neon lights. You don't know if you'll ever come back down to normal. But you do it anyway, and you pay for it on top of that. Do you understand how ridiculous this world? It, it's such a ridiculous direction we're headed. It is death, insanity, craziness, confusion, violent, disgusting, atrocious, hateful, intolerant. It just is getting worse and worse. And the people would have it so. God help us in these last days. This stuff is scary, y'all. 